when in doubt, just hoard the clothes. Because if we put it in our cart, it means they can't put it in their cart. <laughs> I'll play dirty in this costume contest. <laughs> We're in it to win it. Hey, welcome back. This is Nikki Terry Style. Today's video obviously is all about Halloween. We love Halloween. I personally love any excuse to get into a wig and costuming especially. So we are gonna be doing a thrifted Halloween costume contest. We're going to the thrift store with some friends, splitting up into two teams to compete for different Halloween costume categories and everything is gonna be thrifted. You all know my friend Terry. She has thrifted with me before. We went to the Goodwill bins. And you all know my friend Paula from here on YouTube. She is heading up the competing team. So this is actually gonna be a video collab with Paula, which means when you're done here, you can go check out her video to see the rest of the competition. And you're gonna to wanna to check out her channel anyway because it's all the things we do here and more. She's into thrifting as well as crafting and DIY projects. She is just lovely and extremely talented and an absolute pleasure to collab with so we had so much fun in this thrift trip let's get going to the thrift store and wish your girl luck in this thrifted halloween costume contest mm. this is so cute hey everybody we're here. We're ready for the Halloween costume contest challenge. Here's Terry on my team. We have Paula and Danielle on the other team. So the goal is we have three different costume categories and then we're gonna get in the fitting room and compete in each of these categories. The first category is witches. The second category is decades. So any decade, you just have to dress in the theme. Third category. A movie or TV character. Oh, a movie or TV character of any kind. It's the Halloween costume challenge. I'm so excited to thrift with these ladies. Terry and I are obviously on a team, so you're gonna see us and our process, and then you're gonna have to go over and watch Paula's video to see what we come up with in the end. Terry's already starting to look. This is good. My teammate is strong. Okay, any final thoughts from the competing team? Um, we're gonna win. Yeah. yeah, let's hear that trash talk. All you can say is you guys are going down. <laughs> oh. All right, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Good luck. May the spookiest team win. All right, now we split into teams so Terry and I can conspire. <laughs> I think one of the strategies we talked about is shoes might be a difficult thing to get uh, an actual like costume out of, so maybe we want to look there as one of the first areas. But I'm also down to just kind of peruse like the tops and see what things are popping out because if we find pieces that we like, they we can sort of like make them work in a category if we accessorize it correctly. Can I let them in on a little secret? Yeah. I'm a theater costume person. <laughs> I was just gonna say. We didn't tell Paula. <laughs> yeah, I have an ace in the hole because my friend Terry is, has a whole background in theater costuming. So <laughs> we're gonna do good, I'm just saying. Yes, we yes. got this. Go pee. <laughs> okay, we ended up stopping at these accessories because there's so many good glasses and like big necklaces, stuff like this. We should keep in mind like, Yes. If we can accessorize really well, I think that's what kind of makes a costume come together. Yeah. So I'm definitely seeing a lot of like 80s type of uh, jewelry here that could work for a decade. Yeah, All right. The first part of this challenge is that we have to definitely thrift in our shoe sizes, right? So Terry and I wear different sizes, so that at least gives us a couple different, uh, a little bit more options. Ooh, this could be like a 50s kind of like. They're cute. Those are cute. They're 35% off. Oh, they're on sale, hey. All right, let's put those in the cart if they're my size. They are, they're nine. All right. I feel like these shoes could be a fun like 70s or 80s moment. Here's the Terry cam. She doesn't know I'm filming her dancing in the aisle. <laughs> okay, we're looking in the tennis shoes because we think we had a couple of movie characters in mind that could be some broad applications. Those are fun. Too small. Only one pair. Look at these silver sneaks. What can we do with that? Trash can? Trash can? 
<laughs> so we were hoping to find some checker print vans and we could go with a Spicoli from Fast Times at Ridgemont High look, but they don't have any in this thrift store right now. So this is kind of actually a hard place to start, I think. Maybe we did it in the wrong order, but um, if we can find a couple things that'll give us a jumping off point, I think that'll be a good start. Look at those, those could be fun for something. Like, it's like a disco Dorothy, <laughs> Wizard of Oz, I don't know. We found a disco purse. That could work for a 70s look. We could totally do a, a fully disco look. How fun would that be? Yeah, let's save that bag. Woohoo! Good find. So we know we need witch shoes. So I think that's maybe like the most focused type of costume. Like there's there's like a definite aesthetic for that. So I'm gonna look for like pointy toed shoes and boots. Jackpot, Terry found like the perfect witchy boots. Okay, We're, we've gotta like hope that they'll fit her enough for the costume <laughs> try on. And, disco? yes, I was just looking at some disco shoes, but these are way better. Well, they have the skinny. Yeah, Either exactly. That, gotta look, but they're not real high, but we gotta look for platforms. Or platforms, yeah, but these are great. I think throw that in the cart and let's start with those and then uh, keep it moving. Yeah. So we've got a 70s disco queen look going. We need a movie or TV character still, and then we need witch stuff. Could we make Could we make our disco queen look, could we make that from a, a movie or TV character if we need to? Stephanie from Saturday Night Fever. Yeah, we could do. Outlandishly. Oh. Or we could do a, a, like a solid gold dancer yeah with those silver shoes yeah you remember how they dress the solid gold dancers so are we ready to wrap yeah. up in the shoes and we'll head over to maybe the tops or do you want to look at dresses dresses and skirts let's do dresses because that's like a one and done kind of thing mm -hmm. all right i like that definitely. plan definitely let's just go <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so this size probably won't work for us, but cute. this like kind of uh, plissé lame situation, I don't know what you call that, but. Glitter. Yeah, oh, glitter. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh my gosh, that's so good. All right, let's see, let's pull it out and see if it'll uh, work for either of us. Panda. This is an awesome find for this competition. Yeah. What is this? Sweater dress. Mm. I really like this, but I don't know what, 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 yeah, or that. Ooh. Like, we're trying to decide if this could be a decade thing or it could be a movie character thing. Ooh, this is a good witch one. Yeah. I, I like it. it. Yeah, put it in the cart. Put it in the cart. Kind of roller disco. I mean, roller disco. There was a movie called Roller Boogie. It was Linda Boogie. <gasps> Ooh, but then we have to find roller skates, don't we? Well, we don't have to say Roller Boogie. I mean, it could be 70s, is what I mean. Yeah. I just think those are cute. Like, I want to wear them every day. <laughs> is that 90s? Yeah, 90s, like over a little white cap sleeve tee. Yeah. We did yeah, I like that. Shoes. Yeah, with like slides. is pretty but I don't know what it would be for I just like it <laughs> this looks really cute and costumey but I don't know what for and I don't think it would fit me maybe Terry what could this be for a black dress would be good wow that's that's a nice piece
Look guys, dingle balls. <laughs> if you know, you know. How cute. What is the sequin number? Oh my god. Whoa. Lulu's is a good brand. It's a Lulu's dress. It still has the original tags on. It's even blinded. <laughs> it's blinded. Blinded by the sequins. Oh, that's cool though. That's a great costume piece. I just don't know for what. <laughs> this reminds me of my so called life. We could do a 90s TV show. <laughs> Maybe we should just go with like a black basic, like just a case. I'm still trying to focus in on a movie character, a movie or TV character, and I'm surprised because that's ending up like to be the hardest one because I'm kind of just waiting to see a piece that reminds me of someone. You like this? I do. I'm trying to think of a character. It reminds me of Audrey from Twin Peaks. Is that too obscure? Or Audrey from Audrey from Twin Peaks? <laughs> When in doubt, just hoard the clothes because if we put it in our cart, it means they can't put it in their cart. <laughs> I'll play dirty in this costume contest. <laughs> We're in it to win it. These cheaters just rolled up on me while I was looking. Okay, this was the agreed upon time. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh yeah. my gosh. It's already news. Okay, we're at a checkpoint here of uh, to see how we're doing. I think we are like a third done, to be honest. Okay. How about you? We're done. You're done? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, they're done. And we are like a third done. Yeah. We have looked in two sections okay. of the entire store. We literally ran, I think it's the coffee, honestly. Like, I just like, <laughs> my whole coffee, and then I'm just like... Powered by coffee. Powered by Duncan. Okay, we're calling this a halfway point. I just talked a lot of trash to the camera, and now it's like completely unfounded because <laughs> these guys are already done, and we're like maybe halfway done, so... <laughs> Terry and I gotta kick this in a high gear, but we were up to it. We're up to the challenge. Okay, Terry and I had to divide and conquer at this point because we're behind time-wise. And we only have about 30 more minutes to go. I had the idea to do a legally blonde costume. So I'm in the suits and like the two-piece set. So I'm gonna see if I can find something pink and legally blondish. <laughs> This could be like a Hillary Banks moment, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You could do definitely like a Halloween look with this, like wear a striped turtleneck under it and just like do an orange and black kind of Halloween-y look. I guess it doesn't really work for our competition, but it's cute. What about this? Is this like a Heather's moment? I really kind of only found like one pink suit and it's too small. So I found this could go with a witch if we wanted to. If we just needed something, yeah, you know. And then she, I thought this could go for a witch if we wanted it to. Or 70s, like that silver thing, that gray yeah. thing that you picked up. I kind of like this for the uh, 70s, like that dress and maybe a pair of boots. Yeah. Terry and I have reconnected. We're going to combine some of our pieces and start laying them out and figuring out what looks we're going for. Here we go. We've got an array here. It's looking pretty good. I mean, it looks very costumey. Oh, she's setting the shoes out. Yeah, so we're trying to get a picture. So like, we've got some witch looks. We've got some like 70s different vibe looks. Yeah, we're thinking about a movie character with that. Okay, so we found a trench coat, which we are going to make into one of our uh, movie or TV character ideas. And I think that's a really good option when you don't know what to do, is to find like a one and done kind of piece like that. <laughs> so a trench coat can be styled a bunch of different ways. So I think we are going for that, just to have something for the movie or TV character category. And then we're gonna try to make our witches and our decade 70s look extra extra good so we can win those <laughs> so we've got to go look for like accessories and hats and stuff like that and I think like a really great um 70s jacket would be definitely like a cherry on top wish me luck of a 
Penny Lane coat, you could do like an almost famous uh, Penny Lane look. Hey, this coat is a tag sale. It's on sale for $25. It's really cool. Leather and fur. Okay, I just want this, so I need to figure out how to like shoehorn it into a costume or something, or I'll just get it. <laughs> oh. oh my God, that's like a spy anyway. I know. <laughs> we're down to accessories. We've got this, like it's coming together so great. Okay, we're back at this little accessory rack where we started. So we're picking up like maybe a couple necklaces, glasses, um, maybe bracelets, I don't know. It's kind of hard because it's gotta be what we can try on. But uh, these accessories I think can make or break a costume. So we've got a couple things that we threw in the overflowing cart here and uh, yeah. So we're almost ready to go. <laughs> we broke sweat. <laughs> we broke a sweat, okay? Like we worked so hard to finalize our massive overflowing cart here. Yeah. We're gonna look awesome now. We really are. We're we going are in. We're going in. We're gonna go into the fitting room. Now don't forget, I am gonna show you Paola and Danielle's costumes here in this video. And then you've gotta go over to Paola's channel to see what Terry and I came up with for our final costume looks. And then you decide who won in each category. Just there leave us go. comments and let us know. So let's get it. into the fitting room and we'll see you guys on the other side. I know you did. Pella is so organized. I've thrifted with her before and her cart is neat. It looks like everything coordinates. And then you look at my cart and it is, it is organized chaos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terry thrifts like this too though. So yes. this is, this makes sense. We're, we're team Terry. <laughs> Nikki Terry and Terry Terry. I'm <laughs> team chaos. Team chaos. <laughs> Wait, say that again. So we actually have to find another shirt because, you know, but that was a good thing about trying to- Uh-huh, okay, yeah. So now they're begging for more time. I see how it is. <laughs> okay, I'm in the fitting room. I might give you a little sneak peek of some of the fun pieces that we're gonna be putting together for our costumes. All right, guys, wish me luck and happy Halloween. Now it's time to see what the other team came up with. Terry and I just got done in the fitting room, so they've had a bit of an advantage. They got to see what we did first, so I'm really excited to see what Paula's team came up with. Ooh. Here we go. Costume number one. Oh, oh my gosh. That is you, awesome. That's this is a decade one, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and we're doing a, like a 60s, 70s yeah. kind of hippie vibe. Okay, those shoes are amazing. These are like corduroy. That's awesome. This is so cute. Okay, but I just want you to wear this normally though. I really like it. Like, do you like the style? Uh, this is too loud for me. I kind of okay. like these pants though. Yeah. They're really comfortable. And those shoes are everything, what size honestly. Are they? Uh, <laughs> Terry's like, I want them. They're an eight or a nine. Ooh, girl. So. Yes. Oh, this is awesome. Can you do one spin for us? Oh, that's so sad. That's Good perfect. job, you guys. Okay, for their next costume, I saw that they have props, so we know it's gonna be good. <gasps> oh, this must be the witch look. This is very classic. Okay, is that a dress and a, oh, it's a skirt and top. Yeah. Look how perfect the details, like the bell sleeves. See, those bell sleeve style shirts have been really popular for the last few years, so I feel like you could thrift those pretty easily, like, in general. And they make a really good element for the witch costume. Are you gonna get those? They're doors. I might. Um, Shoes, cauldron, skeleton friend. <laughs> Oh my god! Her latest victim. Like oh, the necklace, necklace too. too. It's like very Halloween. It's black and orange. And her mask. And her and her Halloween ear. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> these, but these are. These oh, are she's just mine. wearing those today. They're awesome. <laughs> this is amazing. Well done. Go team Paula. Here's the final costume from Paula's team. Cute. 
I could tell right away you're Velma from Scooby-Doo, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. That's, it's really cute. I actually just kind of want you to wear that outfit because the color blocking is so good. All you need is like an orange turtleneck sweater mm -hmm. and then. These are actually shorts too. Yeah, I like that because you could do shorts or pants or a skirt and make it work for that costume. Adorable. Danielle found them in that. Like these are perfect. Yeah, they are. Good job, Team Paula. Thank you. So let us know what you thought of our costumes and make sure to check out my video on my channel, which I'm sure will be linked down below, so you can see Nikki and Terry's costumes too. So let us know how we did. Well, thank you for thrifting with us. Let us know how we did with our Halloween costumes, or we can just chat in the comments about your Halloween costumes or other Halloween plans you might have. I personally tend to actually decorate quite a bit for Halloween. So last year I made a whole thriftoween series where I thrifted a lot of Halloween decor and put it all together. If you are interested in Halloween decor content, you can check out that video. But first, of course, go to Paula's channel if you haven't yet to check out the rest of the costume contest and subscribe to her. She is posting new videos every week and she's just an amazing creator. Thanks again to all my friends for participating in this contest and I will see you all soon for a new video.